Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, The Art Wagon. I appreciate you coming by and checking out my channel. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. So today we are going to be doing an unboxing of the September 2021 Art Snacks box. Um, this is, I think, my third box that I've gotten from them. Third or fourth box. And um, it was a present, so um, I'm not affiliated with them. Or sponsored by them in any way. It was paid for. So here we go. Let's open it up and see what we got to this month. Hope everyone's doing well. Let's check out what we have here. We have... Hmm. We have the card. The information card that tells you what products are in the box and um, the prices of them and what they're all about. Let's put that... Oh, and they always have a little joke here. It says, what do you call a color that doesn't exist? They usually have the... A pigment of your imagination. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Ooh, look, there's something big in here. Can't get it out. What do we have here? Deerwent Line Maker. Three of them in 01, 03, and 05 sizes. Oh, okay. What colors is this? Hmm. What colors are these? Let's see here. Let's look at our little card here. It says uh, Dear Went Line Makers, set of three for $10.99. Dear Went Line Makers are super fine, free flowing, fine liners that produce consistent lines, filled with permanent fast drying pigment ink. They work well with a variety of mediums. This set has all your drawing needs covered with three different nib sizes, 01, 03, and 05. Oh, here it is, SEPA. Hmm, okay, interesting, SEPA. Okay, so does that mean we're not going to get any colors in this box? What's this? Oh, we got a cool pencil sharpener. Nice. Looks pretty durable. Let's see, what do we have here? This one runs for, it's a Coom pencil sharpener, magnesium, long point pencil sharpener for $1.95. Create long sharp pencil points. I've heard of this pencil sharpener before on other people's channels and they seem to like it, so awesome. I always use this one, this uh, trip worthy one. It's um, battery operated, but it is like awesome for all pencil types. I do suggest that one. Okay, what do we have for our little snack? What do we got here? Oh, it's another Warhead. They must be sponsored by them or something because it's always a Warhead. Okay, so either Taffy or one of these guys. Well, it's a good flavor, watermelon. Okay, cool. All right, let's get this box out of the way. Don't need this box anymore. All right, nice little sticker on there. Share your unboxing with us, Art Snacks at artsnacks.com. Okay, and hashtag Art Snacks. Okay, this is really bundled. <laughs> Maybe it's more pencil than product. Let's see. I mean more pencil than product. More paper than product. I cannot speak today. Maybe this wasn't a good night to do a video. <laughs> okay. We'll work through it. Let's do this. Let's do this monkey dance. Okay, where are we at? Okay. We have the art snacks, little pretzel looking sticker. 
cute. Oh, green. Hmm. Green, what is this? Acrylic. Oh, is this a paint marker? Let's see. Let's look at our little description card. This one is a Montana acrylic marker, two millimeter, four ninety five is the retail. Get a taste of Montana's bold street style with their two millimeter acrylic marker. This handy tool can be used on almost any surface. It's water based. Hmm. Water based acrylic paint is highly pigmented, which provides matte vibrant coverage. This marker is also refillable and the nib is replaceable, so you can use it for a lifetime. Hmm. Okay, wait a second. So, so far we've gotten SEPA color. Hmm, and then this bright green wheel. Hmm, <laughs> I think of what I'm going to do with this. Okay, they just threw me through a loop. Hmm, okay. And then what do we have here? Pencil. Touch drawing pencil. Okay. Let's see where are we at. It says uh, Shinhan Art Touch Drawing Pencil, a dollar sixty is a retail. Add a touch of high quality graphite to your work. With the Shinhan Art Touch Drawing Pencil, this tool produces smear proof lines, allowing you to create crisp, clean drawings with a wonderfully textured shading and blending. Well, that's nice if it doesn't actually smear. Hmm. Okay, so no eraser on this side, they're both the same on both sides. Okay, all right. So we got a regular graphite pencil, we've got some SEPA line makers sorry if there's like a big old glare on that box i don't mean for there to be i want light in here though okay then we have okay this looks interesting this is um looks like it's dual ended okay got a sharp nib on that side and we've got a it's this side Okay, so let's read about that because they look the same on both sides. I don't know why this side is clear and this side is black capped. All right, what do we got here? Tombow twin tip brush pen, black and gray. So we got a black side and we got a gray side. Okay, that makes sense. Five forty nine for the retail and it says it's a staff favorite. Um, with black ink on one end and gray ink on the other. The Tombow Twin Tip Brush Pen is perfect for both hand lettering and illustration. The firm yet flexible brush tips can create extra fine, fine, or medium strokes with a, a simple change in pressure. Another perk of this unique pen, it's waterproof once dry. All right, so we have... This guy, that's waterproof when dry. We have a graphite pencil. We have this guy that you can use with water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do here. Okay. And then this one. Let me see here. Is this one? I'm trying to see if it's a... Uh... Yeah, it says it's permanent. Okay. So, these two guys, permanent. Basically, line makers and line makers. So we've got three in the sepia color line makers that are basically fine nibs. And we have a black and a gray. We have a basically gray pencil because it's regular graphite. And a bright green water acrylic. Yeah, um, pen marker whatever this is okay hmm ah uh, marker is what it says okay <laughs> okay <laughs> bear with me this time guys okay let me sit down i've been standing this whole time oh 
goodness me. Art snacks, what are you doing? Why? Why, why, why? Okay, let's see here. Let's get a blank piece of paper. Test these suckers out and see what the heck is going on here. They are throwing me through a loop, that's for darn sure. Okay, you guys want to see what I produce with this? Uh, I'm trying to think of what I can do. I know I could, what I can do with the SEPA stuff, maybe something steampunk. But that green is going to throw me off. And all these liners. Okay, can't really color with liners. I don't think. Let's open them up. Let's open this up. What shadow am I getting on here? Who knows? Who knows? All right. I will say so far I like the sketch box um, for this month more than this one because this is like, I don't even know. Okay, Deerwent, and this one is 01. It's 0.1. This is super flipping. Look at that. It's like a needle. Okay, so this one here is goes like so, and it is going like this, and then this is 01. And this one is the 05. And 05 is a little bit thicker. And then we have the 03. We'll put that one next to the 01. Like so. Okay. So we have those. We tested those ones out. And then we have the... Let's test out the black and this is the tombow isn't this the tombow that we said i think so mm, this one is the tombow twin tip brush pen so that one is the black and then we have the gray Ooh, okay i do like this pen these ones like this one very smooth very smooth okay and the pencil let's try it let's try the um the sharpener out and then we'll try to see um if it is actually smear proof let me just sharpen this over here so we don't get like a huge mess let's see bizarre it didn't come sharpened okay Sorry, guys. <laughs> you really don't want to watch me sharpen a pencil this whole time. Oh, my goodness. That takes forever. What? All right. We're going for my trip worthy. I don't have time to sit there and... There we go. Okay. Let's see if this is actually smear proof, guys. Okay. Let's see. Let's take this down a little bit further here. Sorry about the shadow. Oh, I have such a shadow right there. Okay, let's see. We'll do a big heart here. Now, let me just rub my hand across it and see what happens. Huh, no smear. Okay. That passes, that passes the smear, the smear test. Okay, let's try out this bad boy. Let me just come out, back out a little bit. Sorry, guys. I don't know about art snacks. I'm kind of like, hmm. It's nice to get these new products and stuff, but the past few boxes, I'm like, what in the world am I going to do with these all together? Like, these are nice to use with other things, but... To make one, like, actual creation with this, with what they put in one box, they make it very, very hard. Like, seriously. Especially when you're unboxing something and you have to think to yourself, okay, what am I going to do with this? Okay. What do we got here? 
I may just do something steampunk real fast. Oh, it's one of these that you have to shake and then push and... Okay. Some of these take a long... Oh, no, that one does not take a long time. As I was saying that, some of these take a long time for them to come out. Nope, that one came out really fast. Okay. Okay. Well, it's not as bright as I thought it was going to be. So that's a good thing, I guess. All right. I have... Let's see. Grab, grab one of my pictures that I've done here. Some steampunk. Ugh. I think that might work. With Seppa. Here he comes. All right, guys. This guy here I created a while back for a um, event I was doing with another artist, um, Laura Rafferty. We did a steampunk um, event, and she did a steampunk cheetah, and I did a steampunk um, ostrich. We really wanted to do something that um, reflected like zoo uh, animals, <laughs> so I picked I picked an ostrich. Yeah, why not? He has a cute little snail, little steampunk snail up here, and a little pirate ship. But his name is Snap Happy. Um, Pirate Captain Ostrich um, Burgoo. Burgoo, which means stew. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay. So, what am I going to do? I don't know. But we're going to try something out here. All right. Let's try out this green here. I guess we could maybe try... I'm going to put it on my dry erase board, add some water to it since it's says you can work with it with water, but it's acrylic, so that's kind of interesting. Let's get a brush we can actually work with. All right, we'll use my Princeton one. Put it on my dry erase board, mix it around with a little water. Goes a long way that way. And it's not so thick. Here we go. All right, what should we do with this green? Green. Let's do the let's do the feathers coming out of his hat. How about that? I'm definitely not gonna be able to get all this done on camera, but I wanted you guys to see what the product actually does when you use it on something. This is watercolor paper, so we should be okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these fine liners, though. Like, what in the world? So many fine liners. If I was just going to outline something the whole time, maybe. Just lately, um, I've noticed um, Sketchbox and um, Art Snacks giving a lot of uh, fine liners. There's just so many fine liners you can <laughs> After a while, you're like, okay, um, I'm done with fine liners, guys. Like, what? I did like this last um, sketchbox, though. That was fun. I did a really pretty pumpkin picture. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. Well, I didn't do the whole thing on camera, but... My Instagram, under Michelle Kaler, of the Art Wagon... You can see the uh, finished result. Okay, the green is pretty. I like it. Yeah. All right. Then I always keep water whenever I'm unboxing because you never know if you're going to get watercolors. Okay, then let's try this um, the SEPA out. I'm going to try the biggest one we've got here. What do we got? There's 03. Okay, I think that's the biggest one, right? No, 05. Okay. So let's try this out. And the deer went. Hmm. They are making this very interesting. Let's go down and see if we can get this. Where am I at? Yeah, it's basically brown, so. Seppa. I wonder if it dries lighter than that. 
And here's his eyelid. We'll do his other eyelid. So yeah, he's my steampunk ostrich. He's on my Etsy if you guys want to color him. I sell him on there. And then let's try out this Tombow. Um, let's try the gray out. What should we do with the gray? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Where's next? Why are you making this so hard on me? Goodness me. Okay, let's do one of the gears a little. Not the gears, but the this metal down here. See, I really like this um, this marker. This is nice. This Tombow one, it is really smooth. You guys see that? I'm only putting half of the picture on at a time so you can see it. Gotta keep track of the time here. Don't want my videos to go too long. I mean, there's only so much you can do with a bunch of line mark ma makers. Line makers, fine liners. I mean, I can use this for my illustrations. But I wouldn't use them to like color in like what I'm doing right now. I would just use them to make lines. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's a cool gray. So I just don't know where the, I don't know where this green falls into place. What? Okay. Let's try out our pencil. Okay. The shade in his nose. With the pencil. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's a nice pencil. It's like a regular pencil, except for that doesn't smear. Let's try it again. Yep. Let's see, on my finger. Well, there's a little bit. A little bit on my hand and my finger. I don't know. Hmm. It's not smearing into the paper. I guess that's a good thing. Okay, so there's that. And what's what about the other side, the black of this one? Let's try this one out. What should we do? What should we do? We'll do the little flag up here. On the pirate ship. We'll do the black up here. I was hoping to get some exciting, something exciting in this box that I could actually work with. I think the worst box I got from them was that one that had that monster huge um, marker in it that I'm going to use for boxes or something. <laughs> I was just like, what is this? I mean, I guess for backgrounds and stuff, but. That was crazy. It was like a humongous Sharpie, basically. All right. I'm trying to be positive. I can use these. I can. Just not... I wouldn't use them together like this. Okay. So, yeah, that's a really rich black. And it goes on really good. I really like this. I like this one. This pen is awesome. Okay. Yeah, okay. We'll do his eyeball. 
his nose, little skull and crossbones. Okay, so that's the black. Hmm. Okay, when this dries, when you put it with water, you can actually have gradients of lighter colors and then the darker and then the lighter. So you can do that if you mix it with water, like I did on this dry erase board. Um, these dry erase boards are awesome, you guys, for watercolors or acrylics or whatever. You can mix and they wipe off really good with just water. Um, I don't know what else I can actually really do with this at this point. Um, all of these other ones are going to be the same color, just different sizes. So I tried out all of them and like I said, I would use, I'm going to use all of these things. However, I'm not going to use them together <laughs> to create anything. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay well yeah so yeah if you guys like this image um hop on over to oop -do, hey, hello hop on over to my etsy and um check out i believe this is under either um i think it's under my animal coolness section on my etsy shop so hop on over and have a look okay Thanks so much, guys, for um, coming and seeing my channel, watching my channel. These are the items I received in my Art Snacks September 2021. And a little card. Oh, pencil shavings everywhere. So, yeah, that was it. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye.